A biomarker is something that's on the tumor that teaches us something specific about that individual patient's tumor. And it's enabling us to sort patients into different kinds of colon cancer patients, for example. So biomarkers are becoming a critical element of, frankly, all oncology, and we're welcoming them in colorectal cancer. We're all docs, we're all patients, should have the biomarker done. Is in stage four metastatic disease, KRAS testing. It's a pretty straightforward thing. The biopsy or sample or surgery that was done at any point along the way can be used to test for KRAS. What biomarkers are enabling us to do is figure out beforehand, will this drug work or not? It really helps teach us, takes us away from the trial and error world. There are a few things that every colon cancer patient needs to know about their own tumor. First is obviously the stage. How deeply did it go through the bowel wall? Are there lymph nodes or not? But we're now understanding some specifics around genetics. It was beneficial to do a DNA profile of my tumor. Uh, so that they could target a particular medicine toward that particular DNA makeup. I had read about this in the popular press. I was aware this is an emerging trend in cancer therapy. Uh, and it was very important to me to know that my doctors were looking at every possible avenue for treatment. You tend to get a lot of information when you know you are diagnosed with uh, cancer or any other serious disease. A lot of offers of assistance, a lot of phone calls or letters or notes from you know, friends, relatives, friends of relatives, relatives of friends, all of whom may have very specific advice, often sometimes based on their case. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, it's wonderful to have that level of support and outreach and encouragement. Uh, but at the same time, it can be a lot to weigh, particularly when a lot of this advice is different or may not be completely relevant to your case. And so I think one thing just to bear in mind is that, that, um, you know, every case is going to be different, every perspective is different. and. It's useful to bring in a large amount of information, therefore you can kind of weigh one against the other, uh, while always bearing in mind that something that worked or didn't work for someone else may uh, not be relevant for you. When they discussed my initial treatment, they mentioned the possibility of this clinical trial, and they did a test based on the uh, tumor material they removed during the initial surgery. Actually received an email, congratulations, or something along those lines, which is a funny way to think of it, but in fact that's what it was. That actually I remember as being like the first positive bit of good news I had in like four or five weeks that I was going to be eligible to participate in this trial. I remain deeply grateful for Dr. Marshall's team at Georgetown. They have provided me advice, encouragement to do everything I can uh, that's right for me and is best for my family. It's wonderful to know that organizations like Fight Colorectal Cancer are out there. These kinds of organizations and this community that's grown up around it is very beneficial to helping people with the disease feel that they're not fighting alone.